that this is really, really important what you're doing. And I think that's why it's kept me awake at night because I think this is important that people understand that this connection is big. It's bigger than we know. We're all connected, we're all connected to everything. And the connection that these women have with each other as well as these horses and their children and, and the whole sport, the industry, all the other horses, it's huge and what you're doing is big, bigger than you know. I wasn't 100% sure what Kathy meant by bigger than I know. The only thing I knew for sure is I was trying to find that one special thing that made a horse different. I think that, I think I've said it, like you have to listen to your own gut. And sometimes when, when somebody else says you should try this or you should try that or a, a veterinarian says let's put him on this or let's do that or, or a friend says let's change this or let's change that and your instincts are going no, no, then you have to listen to it. You have to listen to that. Not ignore it. Don't ignore that because that's, I think that's when you're, you become disconnected again. I've ridden lots of horses and there's been several moments where, yeah, and I think that's the best way to describe it. You just feel like we're doing this together. Like you just feel it so well, like right through your whole body that the two of you are completely connected. The ones that want it, you know, they're up early in the morning and late to bed, you know, and craving it when they get up. I, I, I think that would have a lot to do with it. I think some people might ride their horse for an hour and day and think they really did a lot and I kind of think you're just scratching the surface. I just, when I watch horses try so hard at the track and the jockey's on them and the jockey's encouraging them, but the jockey's always encourage them and how come some days it just, that energy and that their desire, like secretariat's win like what makes them pull away from the herd so hard like that it's amazing I think they must have to want to win too somehow like they must must want to please so bad that they figure out that that's what the goal is yeah. and some of them just genetically I think aren't physically as capable like it's all genetics but physically you don't even look the same right so it's physically so much easier for some and then they just fall into like boom 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 all the right circumstances right you know like just the right guy on foaling night and the right person was there at weaning and then the right trainer and you know like their life just goes along and you know it's easy I think those great horses are like we could take a great horse from that's leading any type of event right now and had he been raised differently he might not be a great horse i truly believe that yeah. So, um, and I get, you know, that holds true when you see horses that, in theory, genetically, breed-wise, should not be excelling. You right. You see it all the time with little kids and their ponies. Yeah. They do amazing things that logically doesn't make sense that they can do these things. True. So, and you think it's environment and, and what they've had. Yeah. I think you genetically have to be set up for it. Like, you have to have, you have to have the appropriate physical capabilities, and you have to be lucky enough that they raised you to be a cutting horse and you're in a cutting horse barn and so now you're going to be a great cutting horse but maybe you really would have excelled at barrel racing but you never get to try that because you're a horse and that's the barn that you're in right, right. or you were unfortunately horses often get lots of different careers but those moments where like the stars align and the pathway starts off for those horses to be great like like the Northern Dancers and the Secretariats and they're bred into the right barn and they get in the right place and it's just like boom, 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 you know. One old guy, he was a father was in the depression, he was in his 70s and I told him I had all this work I had to do and said when I was a little kid and I had to plow a field, everyone had a 12 foot plow and he had a 6 foot plow. He went to go complain to his dad about it and his dad says that doesn't mean nothing, it means just get up earlier just means get to work so it took over a year and chatting with all these amazing people to find out that the one thing that makes a horse different is us i think if you treat them all like they're champions you're going to get a whole lot more champions horse the honest chance like really, really don't hold anything against them when you're going in for that next run i think it is really important that people understand that they aren't a commodity 
that we are connected to them. Mm -hmm. So when you discard one of them, you're discarding part of all of us. Yeah. That they think, they feel, and that's why the connection is, is so important. There is a connection. Yeah. So how can you throw them in the garbage? Yeah. You can't, yeah. So after all the traveling, competing, goofing around, it all comes back to us. I have always treated my horses well, but I didn't know them near as much as I thought I had. I have spent the entire winter just hanging out with them, learning what they like to do and what they don't like to do. Will any of this make a difference in my barrel runs? I don't really know, and I don't suppose it really matters. And I do have to admit that I look at them a little bit differently than I did before. And I suppose if there's only one thing that anybody could get out of this documentary is exactly that. Go look at your horse. Really look at your horse. And I think you'll be surprised at what you see.